sun's rays. Rain, Jesus, rain. King of Zion, Judah's lion, rain. Jesus, rain. Let your voice with me tonight. Rain, Jesus, rain, say.
ourselves away. Good evening, good evening everyone. everyone. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Happy Monday to you. Happy September, mid-September. God has been faithful. God has been good. And so I want to take this opportunity to say thank you for joining in tonight. Um, this is our first um, ever praying for him. Hello, Peniel. <laughs> Good to see you. It's our first ever um, praying for him, if that makes any sense. Um, so can I just ask you to share the link, let your friends, your family know that we are praying. I'm just going to take a few moments to do the same. And as I do that, we're just going to continue with the music and in the atmosphere of reverence to God and worship to him. Jesus, I am true to the fire. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. King of Zion. Judas Lion. We thank you, Lord. We bless you, O oh God. We bless your name tonight. We give you all the glory. Father, as we pray tonight, we ask that your presence will be with us we ask that you will lead us in the place of prayer and that we'll pray in accordance to your will we pray for the release of grace and for the release of strength tonight as we intercede for those we, we ought to intercede for in the precious name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah we thank you, God. We thank you. Let us just tell God, thank you. Let us tell him, thank you. God, we thank you. We bless you. We bless you. We glorify you. We exalt you. We thank you. We raise up a sound of worship. We raise up a sound of adoration to you. We exalt you tonight. We exalt you tonight. We thank you, God. Thank you for your goodness. We thank you. We thank you, God. We bless you, God. God's mighty right. He is upon us. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. We lift your name on high tonight. We bless you because you are good. You are holy. There is no one like you. There is no one that compares to you. Oh, we bless you. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you, you, God. Ah. Oh, mighty are you, mighty are your ways. You are honorable. You are honorable in all your ways and in all that you do. God, we have come to pour our love on you in the place of thanksgiving. We have come to pour our love on you in the place of worship. Acknowledging that we are nothing and we can do nothing except by your grace. 
we can't even intercede without you and so lord tonight we acknowledge you we acknowledge your grace we acknowledge your mercy we acknowledge your might we acknowledge your hand we acknowledge your glory we acknowledge your mercy god we say thank you for your goodness thank you for your might thank you for being so great and mighty Thank you for being our all sufficiency. Thank you for being our multi breasted one. You never lack. You never lack. You never sleep. You never slumber. You know all things and you do all things. Oh Lord, we thank you tonight. We thank you tonight. We thank you for the men in our lives tonight. We thank you. Can we just thank God tonight for the men in our lives? You know, when I say the men in our lives, they could be as little as a newborn little boy new newborn baby and as old as uh, a man who is about to get into his grave but we're going to thank god tonight for the men that we're going to pray for god says we should enter into his gates with thanksgiving we are going to appreciate god for those men tonight but I want to say thank you for the men that you have placed in my life. I thank you for the husband. I thank you for the sons. I thank you for the fathers. I thank you for the teachers. I thank you for the mentors, the ones that know me, the ones that I, that don't know me. I thank you for those people, the friends, oh Lord. I thank you for all the men, the helpers you have placed around me. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, God. I thank you tonight in the precious, precious name of Jesus. Lord, we ask that as we intercede and as we pray, that your presence will be and abide with us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I want to take this opportunity to welcome everyone once again to tonight's meeting. Like I said, it's the first of its kind. We've done similar in the past, um, but this is a new season. It's a new it's a new day. We're going to do this every other Monday. Um, we don't know how long it's going to run for. It may be for a short while. It may be for a long while. We don't know. We just move with the spirit of God and as he gives instructions. Before we start interceding tonight, I want us to pray in the language of the spirit if you can. If you can't, um, you can just spend this time blessing the name of the Lord. But if you can, I want you to begin to intercede. And as you intercede in tongues, as you intercede in, another in a known tongue, in another language, God will begin to reveal things and drop things in your heart as to what he wants you to do tonight. Let's go. Ye kere boko soko la baka sa talaba. Ye kere bako soko la bake se kere bo. Rabaka sa talaba raka se kere boko. La rabaka se kere boko sa talaba. Ne kere boko soko lo boko sa talaba ba. Le kere boko soko rebaka sa talaba kere bo. La kalaba se kere boko so rebaka. Le kere boko so roko shen talaba raba. La kalaba se kere boko so roko she talaba. La la baka santa la bakere boko solo boko she talaba le kere boko soko lo boko sana na ma she kere bo re ke santa la baka la bake se kere ya bakasa e be kere ya bakasa kala bakasa la ba shanda la re ke santa la ba god we give you praise tonight we give you praise tonight in the precious precious name of jesus I, I have just one prayer point tonight, um, and that's from the book of First Chronicles, chapter four. Well, not when I say one prayer point, I, I have one main verse. I'm going to pray for from. We are going to pray from tonight. Um, we're not going to go for an hour. This meetings will be quite short. Um, First Chronicles, chapter four, because I'm quite aware that it's a weekday and we've got work tomorrow. In some cases. First Chronicles chapter 4, verses, verse 9 and 10 says, Now Jabez was more honorable than his brothers, and his mother called his name Jabez, saying, Because I bore him in pain. And Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, All oh, that you would bless me indeed, and enlarge my territory, that your hand will be with me, 
and that you would keep me from evil that I may not cause pain. So God granted him what he requested. What strikes me about Jabez is for most of the names that we know in the Bible, we know them because they did something. We know Esther because she was bold. She stood before the king and she did something. We know Abraham because of the sacrifices and the, his heart for God. We know Moses because of the plagues that you know God used him to release and how he led the Israelites out of Egypt, out of bondage. We know Saul. We know Paul, how Saul, Saul was converted to Paul. We know Peter about the people that he shadow healed. You know, the Bible is full of names that we know based on what they did. But I don't know what Jabez did that may, has made him so popular. So I did a word search on Jabez to see if I could see any great things that he did. And I couldn't see anything with that name Jabez. All I could see was the prayer that he prayed. I know there was a place, there was a place called Jabez, but I mean the human being Jabez. And so there was nothing that he did that was spectacular, but Jabez has become a worldwide known renowned guy that we all use his name to pray. When Jabez is the is the breakthrough guy in the in the in the Christian dome. In Christendom, when you want to pray for a breakthrough, you pray you pray the Jabez prayer. That even the title, the prayer of Jabez, has become uh, has become titles of so many books, so many sermons. The prayer of Jabez, Jabez's prayer, this one, that one. And Jabez's story strikes me as one of of, of an interruption. God interrupted something. First Chronicles chapter 4, the verses before, talks about the lineage, the family of Judah. Run very quickly. The sons of Judah were this, that, 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 that. And then the Bible then goes on and says, the son of this was that. The son of this was that. The son of this was that. Verse 8 says, and cause begat this one, that one, that one. And then the Bible just, there is a divine interruption as the scripture talks about Jabez. There was a divine interruption from the lineage that he came from. And the Bible talks about Jabez. And the Bible then goes on in verse 11 and continues the lineage and says, Chelub, the brother of this, gave birth to that. And it continues as though the Bible never even broke down. As though the Bible never, as though there was no interruption in the lineage that the Bible had, had described. And I'm reminded of the same thing when the Bible was describing the lineage of Abraham. It says this one gave birth to that one, that one gave birth to this one, and that one, and that one. And then when the Bible gets to Abraham, there is a divine interruption. And then God of the Bible, the scripture begins to tell us about Abraham, tells us about his wife, tells us a few things about him, just like Jabesh. I want you to pray tonight for the men in your life, for that man that means something to you. In the midst of the lineage being described, there is a divine interruption and God takes the time to, 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 to um, bring out to put his hand upon Jabez and to mark him out. I want you to pray tonight for the man in your life. I want you to pray for the men in your life and say, God, I cry out to you for a divine interruption in his life, for a divine interruption in his schedule, a divine interruption in his plans, a divine interruption in the way he sees life, that he will not just be, no, but if God had not intercepted, if God had not stepped into Jabez's life, verse 9 would have just been, and Jabez gave it to this person, and Jabez died he will have been an ordinary man he will have been like his father he will have been like his brothers he will have been like his sons but there was a divine interruption in his in his in his life there was a divine interruption in his plans there was a divine interruption in the pathway that he was taking i want you to open your mouth sir, and say god let there be a divine interruption for good in the men that i care about and call their names i say god tonight i cry out to you would you orchestrate a divine interruption in this man's life Life for good. Open your mouth and pray. La cosa nama sheke ne bokosa. In the name of Jesus, oh Rabaka seke ya kalaba. But I cry out to you. I cry out to you in the name of Jesus for the men in my life. I cry out to you for my husband. I cry out to you for my fathers. I cry out to you for my sons. Let there be a divine interruption in their lives for good. 
in the name of Jesus, that they will not live mundane lives, they will not live ordinary lives. God, I cry out to you, in their everyday life, would you interrupt it? Interrupt their everyday life with a divine appointment, divine appointment for greatness, divine appointment for increase, divine appointment Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, would you divinely interrupt my husband's schedule? Divinely interrupt my husband's life for good. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I cry out in the name of Jesus, would you divinely interrupt the schedule of my sons, the schedule of Kadesh, the schedule of Jeremy? Would you divinely interrupt their schedule? Divinely interrupt in the name of Jesus. <coughs> That they will not live their lives as ordinary. They will not live their lives as ordinary, Lord. Divine interruption of the lives of my brothers, of the lives of my fathers, in the name of Jesus. They will not live ordinary lives. They will not walk through this life as ordinary men. But God divinely interrupt, divinely interrupt, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, divinely interrupt. Divinely interrupt, divine interruption, divine interruption in the name of Jesus, that they will not live their lives as ordinary. They will not live their lives as ordinary men. They will not live their lives as ordinary boys. They will not live their lives as ordinary human beings, but you will make them extraordinary. God, you will distinguish them in the name of Jesus. You will distinguish them in the name of Jesus. Distinguish the men in my life. Distinguish the men that I am praying for, that I am interceding for in the name of Jesus. Distinguish them for good in the name of Jesus. Now, whenever, if, you, if, you, if you've been to university and you've graduated, Everyone, whether it's a first class or a second class or a third class or a pass, everyone graduates and, you know, everyone comes out. But there are those who graduate with honors and they are distinguished. There is, a, there is an extra level of honor that is placed upon them by the university, by the chancellor. There is an extra level of honor I want you to pray for the men that you love, the men that you are concerned about tonight. And say, Lord, would you place divine honor upon these men? Lord, would you place divine honor upon this man that I am praying for? In the name of Jesus, that they will say that men have done well, but this one indeed excels them on or excels them all. As you made Jabez more honorable than all his brothers. Lord, would you make the men that I am praying for more honorable than all their brethren? In the name of Jesus, I pray for my husband, Lord. Would you make him more honorable than his brethren? I pray for my sons. I pray. I pray for Kadesh. I pray for Jeremy. I pray for our spiritual sons. Lord, would you make them more honorable than their brethren? In the name of Jesus, I pray for our fathers, our fathers, our brothers, our mentors. Lord, would you make them more honorable than their brethren? In the name of Jesus. The Bible says in verse 10, like I said, we're just praying one pray, one from one verse. And we're not praying for an hour. We're going to pray for about 30 minutes. We've got 10 minutes more. And Jabez called on the God of Israel saying, Oh, that you would bless me indeed and enlarge my territory. Now the bless in this word, in this scripture means to kneel and to salute it is the kind of bless that you would say if you're if you're talking about blessing the name of a deity blessing the name of a god but jabesh prays to god and he says god i want you to do what i will do to you i want you to salute me i want you to bless me i want you to bestow a level of honor upon me that belongs to gods 
I want you to bestow a level of honor upon me that is not for men, men. I want you to pray tonight for the men in your life. I want you to pray tonight for the men that you love. It could be your husband. It could be your son. It could be your colleague. It could be your boss at work. It could be a, a, a pastor or a mentor that is in your life. I want you to say, God, tonight and forevermore, would you bless him? Bestow a level of honor. Would you salute that man? Would you salute him in your glory? When God blesses a man, no, no, when God blesses somebody, no man can curse. When God elevates a man, no man can bring him down. When God salutes a man, no man can rubbish him. No man can belittle him. So if you pray for the men in your life and say, God, would you bless this man? Would you elevate him? Would you salute him? Would you raise him up? No human being, no force on earth, underneath the earth, no force even in the heavens can rubbish that man. I want you to pray for the men in your life tonight and say, Lord Almighty, would you salute that man? Salute him and bless him in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Lord, I pray that Kosaka, I pray for the men in my life. I pray for my husband. I pray for my sons. I pray in the name of Jesus. Would you bless them indeed? Would you bless them indeed? Would you salute them? Would you bestow upon them a level of honor that no man, no human, no spirit, no system will be able to ridicule them. In the name of Jesus, we pray for our spiritual sons within the house of kingdom culture. Would you bless them? Would you bless them? Would you salute them? Make them honorable men. Make them more honorable than their brethren. We pray for our fathers, our fathers in the house. We pray for our fathers in the faith. We pray for our biological fathers. We pray for our brothers, our spiritual brothers, our physical brothers in the name of Jesus Lord would you bless them indeed would you bless them indeed would you salute them and bestow a level of honor that no man can take away from them no man can take away from them in the name of Jesus not by virtue not by virtue of anything of any qualification but because you almighty God will bless them in the name of Jesus the Bible then goes on to say that you would enlarge my territory. Hmm. You're going to pray tonight for the men in your lives. For the men in your life. And you're going to say, God, would you enlarge their territory? Because the place where they are is too small for them. Because God, when you bless them, when you increase them, when you salute them, they need more space. Would you enlarge the territory of their mind? Would you enlarge their physical territory? Would you enlarge their financial territory? Would you enlarge their spiritual territory? Would you enlarge their emotional territory? Would you enlarge, oh God, the, the territory of their well-being, their academic territory, in the name of Jesus, enlarge their business territory in the name of Jesus Lord we pray in the name of Jesus for the men in our lives I pray for the men in my life I pray for my husband I pray for my sons I pray for my fist my biological sons I pray your oh Lord in the name of Jesus would you enlarge their territory enlarge their mind sphere enlarge their way of thinking enlarge their mind enlarge their, them in their academics enlarge them in their finance enlarge them in their health enlarge them in their way of thinking Thinking. I pray, oh God, for our spiritual sons. We pray for our fathers, our biological fathers. Enlarge their, enlarge their territory that they may seek you, that they may know you. We pray for our brothers. We pray for our uncles. We pray for our nephews. In the name of Jesus, we pray for them. We pray for our male cousins. We pray for our male friends. We pray in the name of Jesus that you will enlarge their territory. Let them not feel like they are small. Let them not feel little. Let them not feel belittled, but enlarge their territory in the name of Jesus. The Bible then goes on to say that your hand will be with me. That your hand will be with me and that you would keep me from evil. That I may not cause pain. 
and so God granted him what he requested. You are going to pray for the men in your life and you're going to say, God, would you grant them their heart desires that is in accordance to your will? Because I am very aware that there are men that we are praying for who are not saved, who are requesting things and are asking for things that are in opposition to the will and the purpose of God. We are not asking for those things to be, re for those requests to be granted, but we are praying that every request that the men in our lives have that is in accordance to the will of God, which includes their salvation, which includes their health, which includes their sound mind. We are going to pray tonight that God will grant them the desires of their hearts in the name of Jesus. God, I pray for the men in my life. I pray for my husband. I pray for Reverend Israel Isiave that you will grant him the desires of his heart. Grant him his heart request in accordance to your will. I pray for my sons, both biological and sp our spiritual sons, uh, the sons of kingdom culture. Lord, would you grant them their heart desires? Lord, would you grant them their heart desires? We pray for the men in kingdom culture. We pray for the brothers in kingdom culture. We pray for the fathers in kingdom culture. We pray for our biological fathers and our brothers. We pray, Lord, you would grant them their heart desire. Would you grant them their heart desire in accordance to your will, in accordance to your purpose, in accordance to your will, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. And finally, finally, from the same scripture, the Bible says that you will keep me from evil, that I may not cause pain. We are going to pray for the men in our lives and say, God, would you keep them from evil and keep them from trouble? Keep them from evil and keep them from trouble. Open your mouth and pray tonight. God, we pray for the men in our lives. I pray for the men in my life. I pray for my husband. I pray for my sons. Would you keep them from evil, Lord? Would you keep them from trouble that it may not cause them pain, that they will not cause people pain and people will not cause them pain? We pray for the sons of the house. We pray for the sons of kingdom culture. We pray for our fathers. We pray for our biological fathers and our spiritual fathers. We pray for our brothers, both biological and we pray for them, spirit, the spiritual, our spiritual brothers, in the name of Jesus, that you would keep them from evil, that you would keep them from trouble, keep them from evil, keep them from trouble, that they may not cause pain, and pain will not come to them. In the precious, precious name of Jesus, we have prayed tonight. Let us just give God thanks for this 30 minute, uh, 30 minute time of prayer and praying for, our, for the men in our lives. God, we want to say thank you because you have heard our cry. We want to say thank you because you have heard our petition tonight. We want to say thank you because you have heard our heart cry tonight. We thank you because you have heard the prayers that we have raised concerning the men that are in our lives, God. We thank you because we are going to see the salvation of these men. We are going to see the answers to our prayers over these men. Oh, Lord, we say thank you in the name of Jesus. Because as from today, now and forevermore, the men in our lives are more honorable than their brethren in the name of Jesus and you are going to keep them from evil you are going to enlarge their territory and you're going to make sure they don't cause pain they wouldn't cause us pain and they will not cause people around them pain and other people will not cause them pain and they will not cause themselves pain Lord we intercede for every man right now that is on the brink of suicide can we just intercede together right now for any man who is contemplating suicide who wants to give up let us pray for them right now that God will just release his grace and his strength upon them that they will not give up and they will not give in. In the name of Jesus Christ, God, we pray for every man in our life, oh Lord, the men in our lives that are contemplating suicide, contemplating self-harm, even the men that we don't even know that are not directly associated with us, but are contemplating causing pain and causing harm to themselves and contemplating killing 
themselves or killing other people. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus that those plans will be put to a stop. Those plans will be put to a halt in the precious name of Jesus we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Amen and amen. God bless you everyone for joining. We'll be back same time in two weeks time. We do this every other Monday. We'll be praying for the men in our lives for about 30 minutes because we are very aware that it's a, it's a weekday and we want, you to, we want to encourage you to pray. So God bless you. We will see you again in two weeks' time. And don't forget the 19th of, of September, which is this Saturday. We have our captivating meeting and the theme is rest. God bless you, everyone. Until we meet again, don't forget tomorrow at 7 a.m. We've got morning drops of glory. God bless you all. Amen. We behold your face and bow to worship. Holy is the Lamb of God. Holy is the Lamb of God. We love you, Lord. And we bring our worship. Oh, he is the Lamb of God. Oh, he is the Lamb of God. That's where it always leads to. It's called the secret place of the most high. This is where we abide. That's why he said you will go to the secret place of the most high. You'll abide, you'll abide, you'll abide, you'll abide under the shadow of the Almighty. This is the shadow of the Almighty. There's a covering here. He has brought us to the banqueting house and his banner over us. Our beauty yet unto our victory yet unsung. A day will come, every tribe, every nation, every creature that has been made will see what we are seeing now and they will bow. That's why we call it the beauty yet unsung. It's the victory yet unsung. There are nations that in ignorance reject him because they don't know the beauty of what he has brought to the earth. That's why we must go. It's the beauty yet unsung. It's a victory at all time. But you know what? All the nations will come and will worship the beauty at all time. The victory at all time. Every generation will tell his greatness. His a beauty at all is a victory yet unsung. Even our children rise in worship to the beauty yet unsung. And the victory yet unsung. We join the heavens and sing the song of holy. Holy is the Lord of God. Holy is the Lamb of God.